Hey everybody, Henrik here, uh, just uh, talking, because that's what I seem to like to do. Uh, still no uh, Volkswagen Beetle back yet, uh, but my voice is still intact, because uh, I had a nice, uh, exciting, rousing game of the Drink and Think that I hosted last night. Now, if you don't know what the Drink and Think is, you should check out facebook.com slash drink and think. It's really cool if you're in the Dayton area. It's a game show in a bar, hosted by myself. Uh, it's a really fun time watching drunk people try to get general knowledge questions right and watching people with overinflated egos get them crushed violently. But I'm here today because, well, uh, I still don't have my car back, so it's still weird. I'm still vlogging in my vlogging uh, in my backyard while the dog is walking around peeing and eating grass, which he shouldn't be doing. Hey, stop eating the grass. He kind of listened. Anyway, uh, but... I just thought I'd share the worst experience I ever had with a mechanic, which is not the current experience I'm having. Now, the mechanic, my current mechanic and I, we've had some disagreements. Mainly, the disagreements were whether you should, uh, you know, inform somebody when their car is going to be uh, three days past the uh, original point of completion, they said. But, the worst experience I've ever had was at a local Dayton shop, local chain called White Allen Volkswagen. Uh, White Allen uh, here in Dayton, Ohio, I cannot say enough. If you own a uh, car, a Volkswagen, uh, do not go to White Allen Volkswagen. Don't go to anything with a White Allen name on it. You will be disappointed. They will uh, treat you like crap. But uh, I went there because my car key had broken. That's right. My car key had snapped. And I had a, a free tow, so I figured, oh, I'll, uh, I'll tow my car. Uh, to White Allen, the nearest Volkswagen dealership, and get a new key, and then I can drive my car out. Now, the key was not broken in the ignition or anything like that, nothing crazy. So, uh, I get the car towed there, and they say, okay, we can make you a new key for about $70. I said, oh, great, that's a perfect price, fine price. I knew my key was going to eventually snap, just like I am about to eventually snap at the end of the story. But so they make me a new key, and they put it in the car, uh, and they turn it, and it won't start the car. Uh, the immobilizer trips. That means the uh, the car alarm goes off, and then the lights are flashing, and then the engine just dies. It won't it won't start. It won't allow it to start. So uh, they're like, "Uh oh, there's something wrong with your car." Well, I started googling with my cousin Jeff and figured out that the immobilizer is tripped when you have a key that is not programmed to the car because you see the way Volkswagen keys work, I'd show you mine if I had it, is they have a fob, a plastic piece that has a microchip in it. That microchip tells the immobilizer to let the car start. Well, the car was not starting because they had not programmed a chip because the key they gave me didn't have a fob at all. It didn't have a plastic area for this microchip to fit in. It turns out what they were trying to sell me and convince me would start my car was a, a kind of a show, not chauffeur, a, a valet key, a key that can unlock the doors uh, and stuff like that, but it cannot start the engine. But they tried to tell me that my car had a major problem, something more than uh, just the key being broken that was causing the immobilizer to go off over and over, and that they had programmed the new key to start the car. I did not buy this, because on the internet it clearly states that you have to have the fob. So I asked him, hey, where's the microchip? And they said it's in the key, and I said, but where would it be? They said it was inside the metal of the key, that's ridiculous. Uh, so this, uh, the salesperson who had been dealing with the whole time, we'll just call him Ryan, because that's his name. Ryan comes to me and says, listen, your car isn't gonna move, there's something wrong with it, you need, you need it to be looked at. So I said, well, how much does it cost to get my car looked at? And he said, $170. And I said, well, if I get a repair done, does that count toward the repair? And he said, uh, maybe if it's, you know, if it's expensive enough, if it's a few thousand dollars, maybe. And I was like, whoa, okay, let me think about this. So then I ended up going in the back, taking the half of my key that was separated from the fob, holding the fob against the little uh, immobilizer ring, turning the key, and it started the engine. I know this is a long vlog, but deal with it. So uh, I turn it, and it starts the engine. Now, by it starting the engine, number one, this proves my car can run, and number two, it proved that, uh, this was three years ago, by the way. Number two, it proved that uh, they had not reprogrammed my car because the old key still worked. So I drove the key to a different dealer and had them look at it. But before I got there, I went to the front and talked to Mr. Ryan, because that's his name, his real name at White Allen. 
I, I told Ryan, hey, I got my car to start. And he said, really, show me. So I show him, and he says, well, that's weird. And I'm like, yeah, that is weird, considering you said the car will never start again without major repairs. He and I had a big altercation. I actually have it all on audio recording um, because that's the kind of guy I am. But I, it was really funny because I started swearing in the middle of their business, but lightly, and I kept apologizing and then swearing more. I'd be like, this is fucking ridiculous. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I can't believe, I didn't mean to say that, but this is bullshit, I'm sorry. That was the way I was, I was doing it. Um, he got really mad. I gave him back his key that didn't work because I flat out told him, listen, I will buy your key, but only if it works, and it won't work. I then, uh, before I left, he tried to argue with me that there was no microchip in the fob and that the microchip was in the key and he couldn't figure out why the car was starting and maybe the whole immobilizer system was broken. Well, I went to the other Volkswagen dealer, walked into the parts department, set my key down and said, excuse me, is there a chip in the fob of this key that makes the car immobilizer deactivate and starts the car. And he said, yes. And I said, oh my God, in the words of the, the immortal words of Penn Jillette, Ryan at White Allen needs to tattoo that on his ass backwards so we can read it in the mirror. So after all of that, they repaired my car like it was nothing. All they had to do was take the key, uh, program it, it resets the immobilizer automatically, had no problems at all from there. It cost, you know, 120 bucks, uh, but that was for a different key than the one White Allen had charged me for. And then White Allen had the nerve after I did not take the key because it did not work to send me a bill, which I did not pay and will not pay ever. So don't go to White Allen no matter what. This has been a very long, uh, very long vlog. And I want to remind you again, please watch as many of my videos as you can. Share them as often as you can. Every view gets me a few pennies and I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to hop out of here. I just felt like I should share that, that damn story because that is probably the most frustrated I've ever been involving my car because they just friggin' lied. They just friggin' lied. These current mechanics, I think that they just, uh, you know, have some issues with customer service, but I, I think they're going to do a fine job and they're charging me a fair price. So uh, until next time, wow. I hope the next one is me sitting in my car.